Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the recurring task in Salesforce. So with the term recurring task we understand that it is a process of scheduling and repeating a task. So in this video you will learn how you can enable and create the recurring task in Salesforce. So first let's see what are the recurring tasks in Salesforce. So a recurring task in Salesforce CRM is a way to schedule a task to repeat on a regular schedule such as daily, weekly or monthly and this feature can automate repetitive tasks such as following up with a customer regularly or scheduling regular meetings with a team. So with a recurring task you don't have to create a same kind of task again and again. With this feature you can schedule a single task repeatedly. So what we are going to discuss today is enabling and adding the recurring task field to the page layout of the task object. And then we will see how we can create recurring task in Salesforce Lightning as well as classic edition. And after this, we will discuss out of box scenario that is create a recurring task that recur quarterly. So let's move ahead and first see how we can enable the recurring task in Salesforce. So as of now, I have logged into my Salesforce developer account. And from here, I will navigate to the quick find box and here search and select activity settings. And now in the activity settings, enable the checkbox, enable creation of recurring task. So in my case, it is already activated. And after activating this checkbox, you have to click on this submit button. So as of now, the recurring tasks are enabled in your system. And now to make this field visible to the users, we have to add it on the page layout of the task object. For that, we will go to the object manager and here search and select the task object. In the task object setup, click on the page layouts on the left hand side and here select the task object page layout. So here we have to click on the fields and here you can see the available fields that we can add to the uh, task detail section. So here you can see this field create recurring series of tasks. You have to drag this field from here to the section task detail. You can arrange it anywhere in this section. So I am keeping it at bottom of the section and after adding the field to the page layout, click on the save button. So as of now, we have enabled and added the recurring task field to the page layout of task object. Now we will see how we can create a recurring task in Salesforce Lightning. For that, you can navigate to the object in which you have to create a task or you can directly navigate to the task object. So here I am on the task object tab and to create a new task i will click on this drop down and then select new task so after enabling the recurring task you will see an additional field that is a checkbox field create recurring series of tasks so first i will enter the required details to create a task for that i will select the status subject and the priority and after entering the required fields you have to click on the checkbox create recurring series of tasks and as we click on it you will see an another set of fields so here we can select the frequency repetition and the start date end date of the of the recurring task for example you want to set the frequency as daily that means this task will repeat daily and likewise we can select the frequency as weekly monthly and yearly so when you select the frequency as daily you can select uh, the repetition as every day every another day and in the custom option you can select every third day fourth day or the tenth day of the month and when you select the option as a weekly so here also you have to select the repetition so for repetition you can select every week every another week or in the custom options you can select every every first week second week third week and so on and in the monthly option you can select the repetition as every month or every other month and same as the custom option and same as the yearly option you can select the specific date that on what date of the year the task will recur so when we select relative date it will it is showing us the option day repeat on and the month so in the yearly option you have to select the day of the year on which the task will repeat and the month of the year so in this example i will select the weekly option and in the weekly option i will select the repetition is every week and the day here i'm going to select as monday so here i have to select the start date and the end date for example you want to 
मेक दिस टास्क री ऑक्यर फॉर टू मंथ्स सो आई विल सिलेक्ट द स्टार्ट डेट एज द करेंट डेट टूडे एंड द एंड डेट विल बी टू मंथ्स लेटर फ्रॉम टूडेज डेट सो आई विल सेट इट अकॉर्डिंगली एंड आफ्टर दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो एट द डिस्क्रिप्शन और कमेंट्स फॉर द टास्क एंड एट लास्ट क्लिक ऑन द सेव बटन सो एज ऑफ नाउ आई स्केड्यूल दिस टास्क वीकली फॉर टू मंथ्स सो यू कैन सी नाउ दिस टास्क इज स्केड्यूल फॉर द अपकमिंग टू मंथ्स according to the weekly frequency that we have selected so this is how you can create recurring task in salesforce lightning now we will move ahead and see how we can create a recurring task in salesforce classic for that i will switch to the salesforce classic edition so as of now we have already enabled and uh, added the recurring task field to, to the task page layout so now we will see how we can create a recurring task in classic so as of now i am on the home page of salesforce classic and here i will click on the create new button and in the, in this drop down you can see the options event task campaigns leads and so on so here i'm going to create a task and in this window you have to enter the required details to create a task so here i will enter the subject priority status and the assignee of the task so the subject i'm going to enter here is email and one more thing that when you are creating a recurring task in that situation you do not have to enter this due date field and after entering the fields you have to go to this recurring section and here enable the checkbox create recurring series of task so here in the same way what we see in the lightning edition we have to set the frequency repetition and the start and the end date so here i am going to select the frequency as monthly so on the day 5 of every month i want to repeat this task so this is the date option like every fifth date of the month and on the second option is on the first day or second day or fourth day or the last day you can select like this so after so after selecting the frequency and the repetition you have to select the start and the end date so here i will select the end date of the recurrence of task so as of now we have entered all the fields required to create a recurring task and in salesforce classic we also have option to set a reminder for our reoccurring task so from here you can set the reminder also and at last click on the save button so so now you can see the recurring task is created so in this way we can create a recurring task in salesforce classic so now i'm going to tell you about a scenario of uh, scheduling a recurring task for example you have to schedule this reoccurring task in the quarterly interval but for that we don't have any option to do so so let me show you what i am trying to explain here so for example i am creating a new task and after selecting the required fields i will select the checkbox create recurring series of task so here we have a option to set the frequency as daily weekly monthly and yearly so what you will do when you have to schedule a recurring task in the quarterly frequency for that you have to go to the monthly frequency option and here in the repetition you have to select custom and uh, in the every field you have to select option 3 so with this setting you can schedule a task to reoccur in quarterly frequency so in this way you can also create a task that reoccur quarterly in salesforce and the method is going to be same for the salesforce classic for this scenario so this was all about enabling and creating recurring task in salesforce and i hope you have understood whatever i explained in the video and if you have any queries or doubts regarding topic then you can drop a comment and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular update of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye